fifth game of the series between the Durham Bulls and Nashville Sounds as the Bulls begin to wind down the first half. Taking place on Saturday night at First Horizon Park in Nashville. I'm Patrick Kiedis, broadcaster for the Bulls. This is Durham Bulls Daily, which is where our Bulls fans know to go the morning after every Bulls game for scores and highlights and other nuggets and notes that come out of every Durham Bulls game. We invite you to subscribe if you can. Do that on Apple and on Spotify. And you can watch this mini pod on our YouTube channel at Durham Bulls TV. Well, the game on Saturday night was very interesting. Not quite as interesting as the one on Friday, which saw Cameron Meisner uh, take an extra base during a pitching change, which led to all kinds of chaos. But we had some moments in our contest against Nashville on Saturday. The game was 0-0 into the third inning. Bulls scored a couple runs against Aaron Ashby, who was on a major league four-year deal with the uh, Milwaukee Brewers and continues to struggle in AAA. He took the loss, threw well for the first couple of innings, but then his command issues cropped up again. He gave up four hits, four walks, and seven earned runs in three and two thirds innings. Bulls got on the board with a couple of runs in the top of the third inning, but then the game broke open in the fourth. Durham sent 12 batters to the plate, scored eight times, and seven of those runs came with two outs, highlighted by Logan Driscoll, who came up to the plate late in that fourth inning to give the Bulls a double-digit lead. And now it's Driscoll, tries the first pitch, deep center field. Weimer hustles, going back. He's at the warning track. He's out of room. It's a three-run homer, banging off the hitter's eye over the 4-0-3 mark in center field for Logan Driscoll. Three-run shots. And the Bulls with an eight-run fourth inning, lead by 10. That home run by Driscoll was listed at 404 feet, but went further than that over the 403 mark in center field and was still on the way down when it hit off the batter's eye. And that capped an eight-run inning for the Bulls, and after four, it was 10 to nothing. Rene Pinto capped a four-run fifth inning as the Bulls continued to pile it on as Pinto swatted out a two-run homer down the left field line. Bulls took a 14 to nothing lead and go on to beat Nashville 14 to 4. What was interesting about the Saturday game was prior to a Cameron Miser RBI double in the third inning that got the scoring going, manager Morgan Ensberg was tossed by crew chief and home plate umpire Jacob Metz. There was a check swing appeal down to the first base umpire. It did not look like Meisner swung, and the home plate umpire Instead of asking for an appeal, called Miser for a strike, and that caught Morgan Ensberg's attention. The two had some words from the dugout to home plate, and next thing you know, Morgan Ensberg was thrown out of the game for just the second time ever in his managerial career. But perhaps that was a spark. The Bulls then go on to score 14 runs. Ray Ruiz ran the, uh, uh, the, the Bulls squad for the rest of the game uh, as the third base coach. And the Bulls go on to beat Nashville by a final of 14-4. Jacob Lopez started for the Bulls. He only went four innings, so he didn't qualify for the win. But Lopez was terrific. Uh, no hits and no runs over his four innings of work. He did issue three walks, struck out six. Trevor Brigden through the fifth inning did give up the first Nashville hit of the game and a run. But Brigden would earn the win. Rene Pinto, Ronnie Simon each drove in four of the 14. C.J. Inahosa reached base all five times for the Bulls. And uh, a Logan Driscoll three-run homer. So it's a team-wide effort. 14 hits for the Bulls. They drew eight walks from Nashville pitching. And the Bulls with the win are now within two games of 500. And the final game of the first half will come up on Sunday. We expect to see Jeffrey Springs continue his major league rehab assignment for the Tampa Bay Rays. Springs expected to go Sunday against Garrett Stallings. It would be a rematch from Tuesday's series opener in Nashville. Once again, the final score on Saturday night, Durham 14, Nashville 4. Please subscribe if you can. Do that on Apple and Spotify and on our YouTube channel at Durham Bulls TV. I'm Patrick Kinas for Durham Bulls Daily.